Most people think deodorant is just about smell. A quick swipe to stop odor and sweat. But what if I told you your choice of deodorant could be affecting far more than just freshness. It may be silently impacting your hormones, your lymphatic system, and even your long-term health. Today I'm going to break down what's really happening when you use these products, why some are worse than others, and what safer alternatives you can start using right now. Let's start with sweat itself. Sweat is not your enemy. It's one of your body's most important cooling and detoxification systems. Think of your sweat glands like tiny faucets that open up to release heat and small amounts of waste. Antiperspirants don't just mask odor. They actually shut those faucets off. The active ingredients, usually aluminum salts, form a plug inside your sweat ducts to keep that sweat from ever reaching the surface. Imagine filling your sink with water and then stuffing gum into the drain. Sure, the water doesn't flow, but the pressure builds up behind the clock. That's what happens inside your pores. Now here's the bigger concern, location. Your armpits are loaded with lymph nodes, which are like security checkpoints of your immune system. They filter toxins, bacteria, and abnormal cells. And the skin in that area is very thin highly vascular and right over those nodes. That means when you rub the pits, it has much greater chance of being absorbed directly into the circulation compared to say your arm or your leg. And when you smear aluminum, parabens or synthetic fragrances right there, your lymphatic system is forced to deal with those chemicals daily. And research has raised concerns about aluminum's possible role in disrupting estrogen receptors in the breast tissue. Now, why does this matter? Because hormone signaling is very, very delicate. Even small disruptions over years can influence cell growth and metabolism. And some studies have pointed out that a large percentage of breast cancers develop where? In the upper outer quadrant of the breast, close to the armpit, where deodorants are applied. While we can't say deodorant causes cancer directly, the association is concerning enough that many health experts recommend caution. And it's not just aluminum because many deodorants use parabens as preservatives. Now parabens are known as endocrine disruptors, meaning they can mimic or block your hormones. Imagine someone cutting into your phone line and sending fake signals. Your system's getting confused. That's what parabens can do to the inside of your body. And synthetic fragrances are another hidden issue. Companies don't have to disclose the exact chemical under the label fragrance. That single word could represent dozens of compounds, many of which have been linked to allergic reactions, asthma, or even neurological effects. Now here's an analogy I like. Your armpits are like vents of your house. If you spray perfume into your living room, it lingers for a little while. But if you stuff chemicals into the actual air vents, every breath you take will carry them deeper. That's the difference between putting something on your skin versus putting it directly over an area rich in lymphatic and sweat glands. So what should you do? First, understand the difference between deodorant and antiperspirants. Antiperspirant blocks sweat. Deodorant controls odor. You don't want to block sweat entirely. That's like disabling your car's radiator. But you can neutralize odor naturally. Odor happens when sweat mixes with bacteria on your skin. A simple wash with soap and water, or even a rinse with apple cider vinegar or baking soda can shift the pH so bacteria doesn't thrive. And there are safer alternatives too. Natural deodorants often use ingredients like baking soda, arrowroot powder, magnesium, activated charcoal, or essential oils. These don't block sweat. They just keep odor under control. And mineral salt deodorants, for example, leaves a thin layer of natural salt that prevents bacteria from multiplying. It's simple, effective, and doesn't come with the baggage of aluminum or parabens. And one practical tip. Avoid applying deodorant immediately after shaving. Shaving creates micro cuts in the skin, turning it into direct entry points for chemicals. And if you're going to use deodorant, 
Give your skin a few hours after shaving before applying anything. And here's another strategy. Wash your armpits before bed. Most people think you only need deodorant in the morning, but bacteria thrive at night as well. Going to bed clean actually reduces morning odor without needing as much product. So here's the takeaway. Your body was designed to sweat. Don't fear it. Support it. Think of sweat as your body's way of breathing through your skin. When you block it with chemicals, you're suffocating one of the most natural detox pathways. Just like you wouldn't tape your nose shut to avoid smelling anything bad. You shouldn't block your sweat ducts to avoid odor. You want to start small, switch one day a week to a natural alternative. See how your body responds. And over time, your skin and your microbiome will start to adapt. Many people find that they actually sweat less and smell less once they get off those chemical products because their natural bacteria balance starts to reset. And remember this, your armpits are more than just a spot for deodorant. They're a vital part of your immune and detox systems. So treat them with respect that they deserve and they'll protect you for a lifetime. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.